and put up as priests. If you can read it, you can find that out. So it's the same spirit, so it's nothing new under the sun. But ordaining them, and I don't have a big beef with them, to be honest. They just got to be born again. Amen. Uh, it's not bigotry, it's not hatred. Truth seems that way because truth is always controversial mm -hmm. in the place yeah. of ignorance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm demeaning that. It's a lifestyle. Amen. Yes. They need to be renounced. Yes. It is what it is. Amen. And I got loved ones that struggle with it. I'm still going to love the hell out of them. Yeah. That's it. I can love them. I'm not going to try to burn them and tell them you're going to spend time in hell and all that other uh, say no message stuff that we got in the church. And uh, Some of us going to probably burn in hell because we lie and gossip. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, you need to be born again. That's the problem. The missing ingredient in churches is regeneration. That's, the, that's why we try to sift and sort through the scriptures, try to figure out which one we can con which one we can confer with and we can accept as real and authentic. Yeah. And then we try to look for some that we can use and hang a dangle of carrot before people and bring people into condemnation. Yeah. The problem with the church as a whole is we don't know what regeneration is all about. Regeneration simply says it's not a hell or heaven issue. It's a life issue. Yeah. 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 It's Christ's life coming alive mm -hmm. in you. Yes. Amen. 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 It's him in you instead of you. Yeah. That's the whole problem. So I, that's the big bugaboo to me. That's the elephant in the room. You got to be regenerated. You, you get regenerated, we ain't got to worry about all that other stuff. Those are just fruits. The problem is the root. The root is we don't know what just regeneration is. Because regeneration will change you. Come on. Look at it. We see people in the Bible, they go into regeneration, they nature changes. That's why people keep doing what they're doing because they haven't found out that the power of regeneration. Anyway, I'm going to read this because I got a lot of time. I got four verses. Y'all know what I am? Yeah. I'll go fast. For the day of the Lord is near upon who? All the heathens. As thou hast done, it should be done unto who? Thee. Thy reward should report, return upon thy own head. For as you have drunk upon my holy mountain. Now he's talking to the natural Israel because they got haughty. You find out in the other verses, they got haughty and turned against God. And this was right before Nineveh was destroyed. And, and because Edom, that's what it's all about. You no, know, Edom is connected to Esau. Esau and Edom the same. So Jacob and Esau mingled at that time. The seeds mingled. Got it? Just like it's happening now. He said, you drunk upon my holy mountain. So shall all thy heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. And they shall be as though they had not been. Boy, oh boy. But. See, they won't have their needs met. They won't have their appetites met. They will never get satisfied. But. Got it? You can do what you want when you want to on your days that you have to yourself. But on my holy mountain. The mountain of the Lord's house. Mount Zion. A mentality shall be deliverance. Yeah. And there should be holiness. Yeah. And the house of Jacob should possess their possessions. The house of Jacob should possess their possessions. The house of Jacob should possess their possessions. The house of Jacob, who's the house of Jacob? Not natural, spiritual. What is that? The, the heritage of the house of Jacob is to be transformed. Yeah. Amen. 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 The house of Jacob is Israel. So what's my portion? That's why it's not natural stuff. Yeah. People say, well, we got to find the lost 10 tribes. Of, it, good luck. <laughs> it will take, let me tell you something. It will take an intense DNA check. Yeah. We're so mixed up. Right, yeah, right. We got generations upon generations. The seed is mingled. Yeah. If we depend on natural stuff. Right. It's a spiritual truth. It ain't a natural yeah. truth. Yeah. Then you got saints. About 10 years ago said we got to find out which one of the 12 we are. Mm. I'm a Reubenite. Right. I'm a Kenite. I'm a Zebulonite. I'm an Aserite. 
<laughs> you a black guy, a white guy? <laughs> you a god guy? Come on, yeah. yeah. Come on. We're, well, there's a new offspring in him we live and move and have our being, not in our flesh. Yes. Amen. There's no credence. This thing is going from dust it came, dust is going to return. Yeah. Yeah. This is just a veil. It's a jacket. Come on, it's a suit. Yeah. All right. It said, in the house of Jacob should be a what? Fire. fire. Oh, boy, they go to that fire challenge. Yeah. And the house of Joseph, a flame. Oh, can't get away. It's a fire of flame. But what's going to be left of Esau? Stubble. <laughs> Barney rubble the stubble. And they should kindle in them and devour them. And there should be what? Not any remaining in who? The house of Esau. For the Lord has what? Spoken it. And you got that? Nothing left in the house of Esau. Yeah. I'm telling you, we're coming to the day, the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is not necessarily a chronological day. The day of the Lord is a Kairos day. It's a day when God himself Come is on. ascending into his church, where his rule and his reign is, that's been converted with righteousness, where judgment is the plum plummet line. Yeah. Yeah. It's a day that's happening now. That's why we spent time talking in Matthew 13, when the tares are separated from the wheat. That same day is the day of the Lord. The end of the age, same day, the Sabbath rest. The rest of God. Yes. That's the day when we're in. Yes. The house of Esau will not exist. Yeah. I'm like that, I'm like David said in Psalms 144, rid me of them strange children. Get them out of the house. Hey, hey, you got to leave a physical location. It means the day of your deliverance is coming. Holiness is coming. You got to have it back in the house of God. We got too many mutations in the church. We got too many clones in the church. The world needs to see Jesus. They don't need your doctrine. They don't need your degrees. They don't need your gifts. They need Christ. 21 says this. And Savior should come upon Zion to judge the Mount of Esau and the kingdom to be the Lord. See, that house became a mount because it became a mentality. It's a mentality. It's a way of living. Esau gave up his birthright. Why did he give it up? So he could eat. Satisfy his flesh. Same way some of us are. They ain't saved, but we're marry them. They ain't clean and we'll still marry them. They ain't committed to a church, we'll still marry them. We know they got problems and issues. We know they haven't fulfilled where it said in verse uh, uh, 18. For verse 17 where it says, there's no deliverance, there's no holiness. But we're married. I mean, they talk, they're good looking, they smell good. I'm lonely. Biological clock is ticking. Huh? Cal guy can't do it no more. <laughs> huh? I thought a hot massage would do it. They don't do it. I, I go every three three months and get my nails done. Come on, you preach, you preach. Huh? Pick your nails on and everything. Yeah. All that superficial yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a disturbance internally. Yes. Yeah. 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 Until there's peace in you, yeah. everything outside of you be nothing but pieces. Yeah. You want to make it holistic? You want to get home? Go on the inside of you and deal with the disturbance. Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give up your birthright. Amen. Your birthright, you know what your birthright is? Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's your birthright. You know when you got a birthright? If your birthright is to come home and have a peaceful house. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's your birthright. It's yeah. my yeah. birthright yeah. to be able to come into my house, take my shoes off, and be excited to see my spouse. Yeah. That's, my, that's my birthright. I know you're talking about being deep, speaking in tongues, and all that, but it's my birthright <laughs> to be able to be the man in the house, not the man of the house. My birthright to be the man in the house, yeah, yeah, not yeah. the man of the house. Big news. Yeah. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Friend of mine said, "Man, you know what? You need to just go ahead because we get in our conversation because some of those things. I just got a few pet peeves." He said, "You just need to have a conference 
Yeah. Just to teach men how to be men. Amen. Just have a conference. Just have not just your church, but I know you spend time with your men, but I'm talking about opening the doors up. So you can just talk. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Come on. Amen. Cause I fell in love with man when I met Apostle Tim. Mm -hmm. He he took the ministry, the man that was hiding behind the ministry, rent the veil of ministry and brought the man out. Amen. And ever since it's been ripped, I haven't been trying to stitch it. So now what I did, the man took up the two pieces of ministry. Yes. Wow. And I can pick it up and lay it down when I want to. I can put it on and take it off when I want to. Instead of vice versa. Come on, right. That's good. That's what it's about. Yes. So if I give you a credit word, I I, I gotta give you something. I, I gotta I gotta be the man of the hour, the, the, the man of power for the hour. I gotta always be on point. No, I got too much affirmation in my manhood to be overly concerned yeah, or overly infatuated with the ministry. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. I got a little time. I got, could, I, could I knock these out, y'all? Because sure, sure. I, I want to really close it out tonight. Today, I mean, uh, well, I'm going to have to wait. Oh, Lord. It, just, it wouldn't do you good, do you any good if I go ahead and just condense it. I've done it too many times. I want to give you the full effect. Okay? So I'm going to see what I can get, get out of the rest. Well, you know, let me see here. Let me see here. Maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll get one more in here. But let me say this before I go to the next point. We must take personal responsibility for our lives by setting our house in order, by yielding to the government of God for our lives. As he is reigning in our hearts, he is ruling over our lives. He's not ruling over your life if he's not reigning in your heart. Thank you, sir. The peace of God is always the outcome and the aftertaste of his reign. 